What's going on, fam club? I absolutely think there's a lot more Japanese Pokemon card 151 product out there than we're being led to believe. Prices are dropping on singles like crazy. You can pick up boxes for under 80 bucks on TikTok if you're willing to go that route. You can even buy 10 packs straight from Pokemon Center Japan, which I did myself, and it's already on the way to to the US right now as of today. I could probably go back and buy another 10. I just noticed, I'm not sure if it's allowed. I don't see any rules against it. I, I'm thinking about trying some more. But this weekend, it got me really to thinking, even if you do pick it up, is it worth even opening at all? I know it's a great, fantastic set with some big hits, but I really got a question whether or not they're worth the rip. Well, that's what I wanna to discuss today. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great week. We're going spreadsheets today. This Sunday morning, I decided to look at all the hits that you could possibly get in a Japanese 151 booster box and determine whether or not it's worth it to throw down about 80 bucks, 90 bucks, and pick up one of these at this point. The singles have dropped big time. The master balls are not dropping big time. Some of them have dropped. A lot of the even low-end ones have kind of risen, at least since the beginning. I know I was able to pick up a few of them fairly cheap way back in the beginning. And um, we, we can take a look because they have definitely dropped over the last month because I started to do this a month ago and kind of just ran out of time and ended up not doing it. So some of the cards I do have the, the values for from one month ago versus today. And, uh, you know, a big chase in here is obviously that Master Ball. There's some $150 Master Balls that you can pull in here. And uh, we'll take a look at those. But going through the list, I figured... You know, there's about 158 Master Ball options you can get. And I went through and I grabbed the prices currently for all the Master Balls. Some of them are like Bulbasaur here in that $27 range. There's Ivysaur, $16. bucks. you are seeing about the same for Squirtle and Wartortle. Um, there's a lot in the, around the $14 mark. Caterpie, Metapod, Kakuna, Beedrill. There's a few kind of low ones, but not a lot. The, the EX cards are, obviously don't come with Master Balls. They're all only about a buck, so the EX cards don't really amount to much. We got the Pikachu Master Ball. If I'm not mistaken, that is the most expensive one in here, rocking $180 right now. These are eBay prices, by the way. Buy it now, lowest eBay prices this weekend. Um, there's not a whole lot under 10 bucks as far as Master Ball goes, except for a few of the trainers. We got Slowpoke for 27 bucks here. Any others uh, standing out? We got that Gengar. Gengar is a rare. By the way, Gengar is a rare. $157.99 is what the Gengar is going for. Let's go back to that Pikachu real quick. Right here, $178.50. Pikachu is a common. I'm assuming the common Master Balls are going to come up the most. Uh, uncommon and rare, exactly like, like those cards. So the Pikachu should be easier to get than the Gengar. And possibly that, that's what's leading to the Gengar being so high. Uh, plus, just a lot of people love Gengar uh, as you know, as well as Pikachu. So he's not quite as high as Pikachu, but given that he's a rare and uh, people are apparently willing to spend 160 bucks to track this guy down. And again, there's a lot of 1099, 1399 ones in there. And I kind of went through the whole list. There's a few $40 ones. We've got Magikarp, Gyarados, uh, Eevee is up there. Vaporeon, Jolteon, those are rare. Uh, you know, Ditto here is a rare, but he's only going for $13.99. And let's, what do we got? We got Mewtwo, another rare for $45. Bucks. Some of the trainers would be your worst off cases. They're $11 and under. Uh, Erica's Imitation, an uncommon trainer, is $43. That one used to be astronomical. That has dropped way down to 40, 43 bucks right now. So that kind of sums it up. If we uh, if we sum up all the Master Balls, let's see. You're looking at $2,791.35, uh, give or take 10 bucks, because I do have the EX cards in here uh, for values, which is probably makes up about $10 worth of cards here. So let's just call it $2,780 to buy every single Master Ball in this set off of eBay right now. It's uh, quite an expensive endeavor. There's 68 common cards in here. 68 common Master Balls. 
The lowest one is Antique Old Amber for $7.49. And the highest common is that Pikachu for $178. The uncommons, there's 60 of them. The lowest one is $5.38. And that's Rigid Band. And the highest being Erica's Imitation at $43.97. And then for the rares, there's only 25 of them. The worst being Dodrio and Electrode. They're going for $10.99. And the best being that Gengar for $157.99. And uh, I just kind of did an average of what the value would be. The av on average, the un the commons are average about eighteen bucks. The uncommons fifteen bucks, and the rares twenty seven dollars. So on average, I'm giving you that you're gonna pull about twenty dollars worth of value. Now we're all here to risk it for the biscuit. So we all want to grab that Pikachu or Gengar, and we'd certainly all be happy with Erica's imitation. If we paid 80 bucks for a box because we know we're going to get three illustration rares out of the box and an SR or better. So we'll come back to this in a moment, but I'm looking at the value on average of about 20 bucks for your master ball. Then we have all the ARs. The ARs are not going for a ton of money. The highest being that Pikachu for $8.25. All the others are under... Uh, well, we got Charmander for $6.80, Charmeleon for $4.30, but all the rest are pretty much under $4. Many of them are around $2. You can pick up you can pick up all the art rares for a total of $66.34. So if you just love collecting ARs, you could go grab all of them for $67 and call it a day. It'd be a beautiful, nice little collection. Absolutely. Moving on to the SRs, um, the, we got the SR Erica's Imitation going for 30 bucks. All the other SRs are five bucks or less. Venusaur, six bucks. Um, oh, sorry, Charizard is $14.30. So we got Erica's Imitation for 30 bucks. We got Charizard for 14 bucks. And Mewtwo is eight bucks, but they're all fairly inexpensive and you can get could buy a complete set of them for $127.31 right now. So, you know, they're not commanding a lot of value besides Erica's imitation. And uh, that Charizard card is really cool. If, if you love Charizard and you like Japanese, uh, you know, I definitely think for 14 bucks it's worth just picking it up raw. And then we got the SARs. The SARs, the most expensive one is... I thought it was, why am I missing? Here we go. Charizard is, yeah, so Erica's Imitation is 8470 and Charizard is 8350 Those two are the highest. Uh, you could pick up either one for roughly the, the cost of a booster box right now. And, um, you know, if you want to pick up all of them, you're looking at a total of $381. The cost of four booster boxes, roughly. And the gold cards, Mew, about 20 bucks. Switch is 1750 and psychic energy is 1529. So they're not looking at a lot of value either. So down here, what I did was I say you're gonna get three ARs. The low being seven bucks and the high being 19 bucks. So on average, you're getting about eleven dollars worth of value when you uh get your three cards. For SRs, um, you're only gonna get one. You're looking at a low value of $4.64, a high value of $30, and the average value is about $8. If you get an SAR, you're looking for you're looking at $12 for on the low and $85 on the high, and uh, you're looking at an average value of about $87, $47. Bucks. URs, you're gonna you could get one. If you do, you're probably not gonna get the SR or the SAR, and you're looking at a value, a low value of $15 and a high of $20, so about $17.50. Okay, so is it worth it? First off, we have to decide what are the odds of your big hit. And I figure that if you open two cases, you're, you are gonna have 24 boxes and roughly 18 of those boxes will just have an SR card. Four of those boxes are going to have an SAR and two of those boxes are gonna have a UR card, an ultra rare gold card. Now I may be over Sing a little bit. I've seen some estimates where there's only two SARs for two cases, so one per case, and one gold card every other case. So, you know, just for just for our sake today, I'm gonna to go with the, the better solution and decide whether, and we're gonna look at those numbers and 
you know, so take it with a grain of salt. It could be even more difficult than I'm thinking it might be. But I think it's kind of reasonable to say that there's four SARs in 24 boxes. Um, so let's just take a look at those numbers. So we already have our averages, right, of, of what the value is going to be. Um, you're roughly going to get an average of $11 of value from your AR cards. You're going to get, on average, the value of SRs are 8 bucks. The average of SARs are 47 bucks, and the average of URs are $17.50. So if we want to add up what you're going to get in a box and we want to look at the averages, first, or, first off, we're going to look at the average of the Master Balls, which is about $7. The average of an, the Art Rares, we've already calculated as 11 bucks on average, uh, and that's taken into, a, a, into account the fact that you're going to get three ARs. So the average value of three ARs is 11 bucks. As far as SRs go... We're going to multiply the average value of the cards by the chances of getting an SR, which are 18 out of 24 boxes. That's going to give you an average value of $6. And this is going to work only because we're adding up the value of SR, SAR, and UR to get a total average. Um, so for the SARs, we have an average of 47 bucks, but only four in 24 boxes are going to have one. So I'm giving it a weighted average of about eight bucks. And the same thing for ultra rare gold cards, because it's the it's very unlikely to get them. The value of getting one is only about a buck fifty, because only two in 24 boxes are, are going to even have one. And that gives us a total average for the average box, a possible value of of about forty three dollars and thirty cents. So, you, you know, keeping that in mind, let's look at what the worst box is going to have. The worst box possible is going to have a $5 Master Ball, $7 of value in AR cards, and a $5.20 SR card for a total value, a total value of $17.58. Now, you're going to add in, you're going to get like five EX cards, so you're going to get another $5 worth of value from them. You're still looking at only about $23 of value. I don't think a lot much else is going to be in there that's going to be worthwhile of value uh, to, to try to sell. So that is the worst possible case is about $25 worth of value from your, your $80 to $100 box right now. Now, we're gambling, right? The best possible thing, if you hit everything exactly right, you're looking at, you know, like Pikachu, ARs that give you about $19 of value and Erica's Imitation or Charizard that give you about $85 worth of value, you could have a box that's worth $282. More often than not, you're going to have a, a box that's only worth about $45. Now, if you pick it up at $80, it's, it might be worth a, worth a shot to you to, to go for it because, you know, another thing that we haven't factored in is God Packs. Obviously, you've killed it if you get a God Pack, and um, I'm not exactly sure how often those come up. Chances of you getting one are very slim, but of course, if you want to go for the chance, then you're gonna give you're gonna take this average value of about 45 bucks and give it even more. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna amount to a huge amount more. It's just kind of one of those one in I don't know 600 box chances that you might get it, and um, you know, you just kind of kind of got to look at that and decide how much value that would add for you. And certainly, if you end up with the worst box, you're going to be super disappointed. So this is just like what I'm seeing, what my thoughts are. It's definitely, uh, you know, a gamble. If you rip one of these, what are you guys thinking? Do you think it's worth the risk to go for it? At what price point do you like ripping? I would love to see $70 boxes. I think that's, that's a better value. Um, I'm hoping that prices are going to come down. If you bought the 10 packs twice from Pokemon Center and you factor in that it's going to cost you at least 20 bucks to ship it back, you're looking at about a $70 booster box. Unfortunately, they don't sell a whole boxes right now. They are trying to spread it out to as many people as possible. And, um, you know, surprisingly, it's it's not sold out. It's been up for a week. Uh, I'm thinking about going back in. What do you guys think? Should I go back for more? Hope you guys are having a great week. Let me know if you enjoyed the video or if you hated it. It'll make me feel bad for a couple of days, but I'll just come back trying to do even better next time. Have a great week, and I'll catch you in the next video.